day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today we're going to run through JD's Auto Speed Tester, and it's an automated internet speed and latency tester. Uh, it's free, and uh, you know what? It's actually very helpful. I've, I've used it a few times already. Uh, it says here beta, but you know what? I haven't had any issues with it, so so far so good for me. I'll put this link on the YouTube video, but it's... Uh, www.gmwsoftware.co.uk and uh, that's where you get it. So after you download it, install it, looks just like this. And as you can see my mouse as I move it over it tells me those results. So that way if I see this spike here I can move my cursor over that and see what that result was. In this case it's a 5 millisecond jitter with a 2% packet loss. Oh look a test just in time. So um, right now it's running the test. It's doing its ping test, which I've configured to go to google.com. You can figure it anywhere you want. Uh, and then the next test it's going to do is going to be the download test. The download tests are done via HTTP, which again, you can customize yourself. And then the last one is going to be an upload test, which it's going to use FTP for that. So it's kind of important to know all that because sometimes when you don't get the throughput you think you get sometimes it's due to the protocol or the server so if I was to do this at work I would uh, use my internal web server an internal FTP server I've got free uh, portable ones that I talk about all the time on my website um, and you could do it that way all right so back to this next thing we got this little netmon utility that's gonna show me my real throughput so right now if I was to hit the run test button and I force a test you'll see that uh, all of a sudden this thing will shoot up and will correlate with the uh, utilization of the test so this is just the ping test give it a second wait for the uh, download test to kick in there you go so now you can see the big bar you can see the max see there you go and that's what that does um, in the configuration, just to show you something, oh, I gotta wait for the test to finish. I guess I'll just talk while it, while that's running. Uh, no, you know what? I'll just stop it. There you go. That's something I haven't done yet. It actually works. Um, from here, you can see all your test results. If I hit the CSV button, it shows you all the CSV entries. Um, just a little note: if uh, I was to click the first one, hold the Shift key, click another one, and you get a range of these, and I do copy selected. Uh, when I bring up Notepad to take a look at that data. It's not formatted very well. Even though it said CSV, I don't see any commas in here. So if I wanted uh, to use this in another script or something, it wouldn't work very well. So um, I'm not going to save that. I actually, you know what? I am going to open up Notepad again. And if you were to save the data set manually, save current data set as, you get a text file like this one. And if I open that in Notepad, you can see there are commas. It's actually formatted properly. Just something for you to know. The other thing is cycle time 10 minutes you can change that uh, to whatever you like down here it's telling me the next test is nine minutes away there's my public IP and I'm so on and so on and so on so it's a neat little tool um, you just let it run all the time if you want or if you're trying to troubleshoot something you can have it running in the background to see what the effects of your change was and that's pretty well it so hope that helped have a good day bye for now